Welcome. I am Blake Harris, Managing Attorney at Mile High Estate Planning here in Denver, Colorado. In this video, I will be discussing asset protection planning. When putting together an asset protection plan, there are three components that go into putting together a plan that will secure our client's assets and protect them from lawsuits. Step number one is what I call liability reduction. Liability reduction is a process where we go through and look at the client's current situation and see what we can do to reduce the client's chances of being sued. Trust me, it is much better to avoid being sued than it is to win a lawsuit. So the first thing we do is we look at our client's current ownership, such as their home. Let's draw a picture for the home. Their car. We want to make sure that they don't have anybody else named on their home title other than themselves. If you have your child named in your, on your home and your child gets into a car accident, that home becomes an asset which the creditor of your child could take. Number two, the car. If you have adult children driving around in your car, and even though their name's not on your home, but they cause an accident with your car, you're the owner of that car, you're liable for your children's mistake. Next is employees. Employees, if you've hired an employee, you want to make sure that you have an alternative dispute resolution, ADR, inside of any contract between you and the employee. This first step of liability reduction is something that I think a lot of attorneys miss, and it's very easy to take care of for the clients. It's what I call the low-hanging fruit in asset protection. Step one in the asset protection plan should be doing what you can to reduce liability. This also includes buying insurance. Full disclosure, I don't sell any insurance of any type, but I do recommend in most cases the clients keep their insurance. Next is what I call entity formation or corporate formation for protecting our client's property from lawsuits. There are several different corporate structures that we could use to protect our client's property. The first one, most commonly and most famously known, the Limited Liability Corporation. We could use a Colorado Limited Liability Corporation, a Delaware Limited Liability Corporation, or a Limited Liability Corporation in the state where the client owns real estate. Next, we could also use a Limited Partnership. A limited partnership is also a tool that gives our clients charging order protection. The strongest corporate structure would be the International Trust, International Corporation, which is the Nevis LLC. Each one of these LLCs gives our clients charging order protection over their assets. What charging order protection does is it allows our clients to delay paying creditors. You can't outright deny paying a creditor, but you can delay paying a creditor. And if you can tell a creditor who's attempting to sue you or contemplating suing you that you have the ability to delay paying them, it gives you a lot of leverage in negotiating a settlement favorable to you. And then the third step is the asset protection trust. This is another component that I see a lot of other attorneys miss. It is generally not taught in law school. It has to be taught once you get into the practice of law. And there are several different types of asset protection trust available. The asset protection trust. The three main types of asset protection trust are third-party trust, domestic, and international. It will depend on the client's individual case, individual circumstances that dictate which type of asset protection trust is appropriate for them. In general, I would say that the strongest asset protection trusts are the third-party asset protection trust as well as the international asset protection trust. However, for clients who want to maintain the most control over their assets, 
I recommend either the domestic trust or the international trust. The third party trust also has additional taxes. It's a higher tax rate that the income will be taxed than the domestic or international trust. By using a combination of the items on this board, first of all, everything we can to do, everything we can to reduce liability, as well as some type of corporation and then some type of trust as well, we can put our clients in a better position to survive a lawsuit than they would have been had they not had the asset protection in place. If you have any questions about your circumstances or setting up an asset protection plan, please contact my office today. Mm -hmm.